So I'm going to show the off the Girls Last Tour deck that I made for um, the Girls Last Tour. It's, you know, volume one, so I'm not going to like go through all the kanji, but I'm going to show the, um, the different card types. So this is like the first card type that you see, and it has um, you, the way the word appears in the, um, the book. And if it's a kanji, then it also will have furigana on top. Um, Uruse did not have kanji in the book because it's Uruse, which is a colloquial version of Urusai. But I included Urusai in the top area with, you know, furigana on top. So that way you can see the kanji of what it could have, theoretically, but doesn't have because it's a colloquial form of the war word. It's like the same word, you know, Urusai and Uruse. It just, you know, they're saying it differently. And um, I also combined my, the deck I made with the subs deck. So the subs deck will have slight differences in um, the different things people say. So it's very, very close to the manga, but it's not word for word for the manga. So there's a couple of words in here that were actually not used at all in the anime, but was used in the manga, which is interesting. Or sometimes it'll change the order in which certain sentences show up to um, represent the different media. And um, the episode one is telling you where the sound is from, while the page, um, the Japanese version, like above that, is telling you where I picked up the Japanese word. So I also have, you know, the typing cards. The typing ones don't have um, the sound on it because I thought that'd be distracting and um, you don't really need, and you're not really supposed to have context with the typing. That's like checking if you know. Well, the one before this was a flashcard, and the flashcards when you're trying to like, oh, what is this word, and you're learning it. So uh, the flashcards are more for learning the words, while the typing ones are for testing yourself. So I point out I have imi o kaku there to um, make sure you know you're supposed to write the imi, the meaning. So this right here looks very similar to the last flashcard, but this one here is for um, normally for typing the reading of the word. So uru says in hiragana, so there isn't any way to um, you know type the hiragana, but uh, um, you can see that the uru sai lacks the furigana now. So here is the um, other side of that um, typing for typing the yomikata. So um, because it was hiragana, the, I took off the hiragana character and only the kanji is left. So um, there's still the urusai um, bonus kanjis up on top. And then I had the English for this one because um, you don't need to learn the urusai for this. For the words that have um, kanji only, like they, I mean the kanji, like they're not hiragana only, they will have their kanji word here and not the English reading for it. So um, this right here shows up red right now, but that's actually my phone's fault. Um, it Sometimes I open the app and it works and sometimes I close, I it just, it's random about whether or not it works. There shouldn't be anything wrong with the um, programming for it. It's You can tell because there's that weird check. It's like, the, my phone. I, I don't know why my phone does that sometimes. Sometimes it just glitches out when I use a Japanese keyboard and just adds that weird little check mark, but which is definitely not what it is. It's going to show red. See how there isn't a check mark there though? If it was actually correct, there actually wouldn't be a check mark there. So, tsukederu had the kanji, then I have the furigana on top. So, here's tsutsuyaku. Um, you see it has the kanji, but it doesn't have any furigana on top. So this is the card for um, trying to remember the Tsukeru. So this is for typing. You can see how the kanji doesn't have the reading on top. And I did not give you the English reading in this. So we got tsukeru. I don't know. the glitch. So this is the um, drawing card, um, uruse, which if you remember, is one of those hiragana words that didn't have kanji inside the book. So honde wa kanji ga nai kedo. Um, it does have, you know, a tene na ikata version, like the, in the tene na version, which is urusai. Urusai does have um, kanji. So um, I didn't um, make a difference between words like uruse versus urusai and the uh, so there's a couple words in the book that 
And normally, like, you'll see the kanji, but specifically in the book, for stylistic purposes, they didn't have the kanji, like osoraku. You'd see the kanji osoraku in certain places, I'm sure. It looked like a familiar kanji, but in the book, they had it just in hiragana. So for those two versions, you'll get this pop-up that, you know, explains that, and then you're supposed to um, draw it. Yeah, do it right. We just say it. Shut up. So yeah, Tukeru is the one with the normal, you know, kanji in the reading. So there wasn't anything special to really do with the card. It had Tukeru, and then I had the English there. And Tukeru was like this. Uh, so this one right here is the other type of um, drawing card you'd see. So I couldn't um, delete the drawing card for these because, you know, they're... That's not how note types work. So I did a condition instead that um, for words that don't have a kanji at all, like this one here is probably like janai or something. Um, for those, I just said nuko egaku, which is, you know, the mascot of Girls Last Tour, which I don't know. That's the character that I can't. It's very hard to draw. But yeah, there's, there's nothing. So... That's, that's little Nuku. It's pretty cute. He's the mascot. Um, yeah, for this word, this is um, Nemo. Because Nemo, you know, is never going to have a kanji. That would be weird. But I can't, I, I didn't delete the card because I was like, I didn't, I was like, eh. You know? So those are the different card types.